So what you want is you want some holes drilled for plug welding. Yeah. You want a couple of hole, a hole drilled here and a couple drilled there on this. Yeah. And then you want that drilled up there, didn't you? Yeah. For spot welding to this. Plug welding. Plug welding. All right, and then do that along the front there. You just need to weld up and you, you want this drilled along here. Mm -hmm. So there's your pen. Do you want to mark where you're going to drill? Uh, what's it done? Once you get a couple of tacks, you can clean it up while you brush it along. Exactly, that's all I was thinking. I just, uh -huh. yeah, just get a little bit of on tack it. on it and then, like you say, uh -huh. get a while you brush it along, like you see. Helmet, Helmet now. Cheers, Dad. Do you think I can do it? What do you want in it? Check to see, so I'm on three on six. Ah, uh, yes, you're on three. Yeah, I'll just tack it there in the corner. You want to do it? Yeah. I've got to play about with it a bit, but I'll just tack it in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, that's got to be cut out, so I, would, I wouldn't be bothered about that. Exactly. Well, I want these holes drilled in these now. Yeah, and plug weld out. And plug weld all this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Grind that flat easy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If I just yeah. touch the edge too much, it just blasts through it. You know, you, you, you lose that sharp edge. You do. I mean, yeah. I know it's underneath it out of the way. I'm just trying to do a nice job. Uh, uh, well, you have to, eh? Right? So we just drill up here now. Yeah. And then we'll get this tuck to this. Right. So what we're gonna do is just gonna clean 
all this floor off, all the overweld. And we're just going to fill in the plugs for this cross member with weld, just plug weld that. And then we'll, um, like I say, grind everything up and then um, we'll rust cure it all, or the places that have been welded in the bare metal. And then we'll um, etch primer, etch primer it all after that. Let's get it all set up and get this plug welded first. Just rust curing all of the areas um, that we've grinded back where it's been welded and um, where we've spot welded, just giving it a little bit of a, a treatment of rust cure. Um, we've just keyed it up a little bit with scotch pad, and then what we'll do is we'll give it a coat of um, edge primer once we've given it a couple hours for that uh, rust cure just to take action on the on the bare metal. We'll say, well, we're putting it on because it makes a real uh, difference. You know from just previous experience when you when you put it on if you try and take paint off where you've used uh, rust cure it does not uh, help the paint uh, get a hold of the the, the metal below so it's well worth using it. I know a lot of other uh, people uh, swear by using it so that's what we're doing at the moment Aye, aye. Much. But it shows you doing that. Aye, aye. Do a little bit closer. Put it 
down. Oh, I would just lift down here, I put it lift underneath this. just finished drilling all of these um, plug welds out or plugs for the, the weld and as you can see I've filled them with weld around the, the new um, inner wing which is attaches it which attaches it to the bulkhead so that's all been plug welded and then again on the top uh, well it's actually the bottom but this section here which is the bottom of the um, front uh, bulkhead what we'll do is we'll grind those flat and paint over them so then you retain the original uh, seam around the inner panel attachment to the, the front bulkhead. We've also got the inside which has all been plug welded. Obviously a little bit of tidying up to do around in there too. Just gives you an idea, it puts it back to a, a sort of factory finish and um, once it's sort of a little brush off with the um, flap disc and then a rust cure and zinc primed or etch primed and um, that'll put it back to a, a good factory finish and well preserved. finished with its new floor on it. We've um, primed it up. It's got cure rust underneath that. It's got a nice original look with the keelboard at the back, new keelboard panel in. And then also we've got obviously the new uh, small sill instead of the over sills which all is part of that bottom floor. And all plug welded all the way around here. And the new new inner wing. With a little panel just to, to fill in here. So we'll pop this leg off and fill that little panel in in there it needs replacing. So the next bit will be 
same on this side, taking off the old over sills, which will be covering up with it. Imagine a lot of rust. And then a new keel panel to go in the back in here as well. Got a bit of work to do yet. Thank you. 